Hey, what's up, guys, and thanks for watching. Um, welcome to episode 20. Episode 20? Are we going with episode? Are we going with episode? Uh, yeah, I think episode. Mm, no, I think um, uh, video. Video. Uh, uh, what number? I. Um, you, a 20. Who's a 20? We we do 20? I don't believe this. We not do 20. Um, why do you think we do video or a pop a pop episode? Yeah, episode. Do you think episode? Sounds better than video, doesn't it? Um, I cannot say a episode. Um... I think we stay with video, but um, fat human, it's up to you. With this episode, I just want to talk about a couple of things um, that are kind of like me hopes and things I fear for me kids, um, really. So I wanted to go through the fear things first because I know like a lot of like a lot of like new parents are scared of everything, do you know what I mean? Um, so some of my fears, like just with my kids in general, uh, my main one was making them sad. Do you know, like me and my five-year-old have stupid arguments, right? And it's never like malicious. But I know if he's in enough of a huff with me, it'll upset him like badly. And he goes in a huff and he goes upstairs and cries in his bedroom and all this type of stuff. And a little bit inside of me dies every time that happens. Um, so one of my main things was I tried, I, I try, I, I really do try, I try my best to just understand things from his point of view, because um, like a lot of things now he, he doesn't know, like the words to, a bit like me at the minute, I don't know the words, um, to like get his point across, he was trying to explain something that was the other day, um, and he just didn't know the word that he needed to explain something to us and he was getting so annoyed with his cell and it was it was just like calm down we'll talk about it um but just in general me and me kids sad every time that happens there's a little bit inside of us that dies um but it's all part and parcel isn't it um another one um that i, I, I try to avoid even though it's pretty much avoidable unavoidable avoidable can't even speak at the minute. Um, sickness. Sickness is a massive thing with me because I'm diabetic, so I'm sick nearly all the time. Um, but when, especially when the little ones are sick and they make you feel like they've got the plague and you feel like sorry for them. Do you know what I mean? That's another thing like making them sad. You know what I mean? I, I don't like to see them upset. Um, so when the little ones are ill, it's just... You know, it's a, it's a heartbreaking thing to go through when your kids are ill, do you know what I mean? Um, so, I, I do try my best to not make them sick, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm not, like, going out and, like, you know, pouring, like, chicken pox stuff out of them, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't take them to pox parties. This was a thing that I, I learned about the other day, which I was kind of, like, is this a, is this, like, a joke on Facebook, or is this an actual thing? I'm pretty sure they did this in the dark ages, you know, when people had the plague, but I'm not even getting into that because it's just a stupid idea. Um, so, uh, what was, bullying. Nobody wants to be bullied. I was a fat kid at school, so I got bullied at school. Um, but I don't want my kids to go through it. So, I mean, my five-year-old come in the other day and said some, he was playing football, he was in goal, and the horrible little boy is how I'm going to describe him. Um, who he was playing football with every time he tried to pick the ball up he was kicking his hands um, so he had to go in and get a like a cold wrap on his hands to sort his hands out you know and it's one of them things I don't want my kids bullied I don't want my kids to be a bully but I don't want them bullied so it's one of them things where it's like yeah tell the teacher you know punch him in the mouth Um Maybe he's, maybe he's not. I, I don't know how the thing works anymore. 
I know when I was at school, if you got bullied, you punched them back. Do you know what I mean? That was that was the that was the thing. Um, but you know, schools are like these days are all soft and don't really want to do anything. Do they? they just put you in like a little type of detention thing, or you get to go out on trips when everyone else is meant to be learning. Um, but I'm getting a bit off topic here because it's something I'm annoyed about. So I'll skip this for the meantime. Um, but the other thing, the other thing I get like really like anxious about is losing them, and I don't mean like crap that fell down the back of the sofa. I've lost them. I mean like you know when you're out shopping, um, especially like in like clothes shops, and then like I did, I liked it. You know, hiding the clothes because I was a dick when I was a little one. Um, but it's something that I get really like anxious about, and I like suffer with anxiety about. Um, so losing them was one of me like me, one of my biggest things. You like when you take them to the park, and there's lots of other people there. I feel like I'm sitting watching them like a hawk, which I suppose as a parent you should be doing anyway. But like I, I, I personally can't relax when I'm out with them. Like during the summer, where um, me and my wife were taking the kids to like zoos and um, theme parks and stuff, and it's one of them things where your head's on a swivel all the time. I don't think I've seen anything in any of the zoos because I was too busy watching the children. Um, so that's one. Another thing is kidnapping. That's like a massive thing that gives us anxiety, especially because where I live, there's been a couple of reports. Not like all the time, but just in the past few years, there's been a couple of things where, ooh, someone tried to snatch a kid from the park. Um, so I, I do actually have an anti-kidnapping spray, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll bear with us, I'll show you. Just uh, uh, this, this, this here is me anti-kidnapping spray. Yeah. It's, um, I, I don't carry it to the park with us, although I feel like I should. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't want anyone to kidnap my children. Just, I don't want anyone to kidnap anyone's children. It's not just mine, I just, uh, you know, as kidnappers out there, I think you should all go and, you know, jump off a cliff, feed your penis into a wood chipper, to be fair. Um... But I kidnapping's like one of my main things that I get really anxious about. Um, like you go to the park and it could be like, you know, just the, the school, the nursery school kids that are there and a couple of old grannies that are there. And I feel like I'm eyeballing these teachers and these old grannies thinking, right, go on, make a move and I'll stab you in the face. Um, so I kidnapping's like a main thing. And especially when we were going to the, the theme parks and the zoos and things and it was like, Right, everybody here. There's like thousands and thousands of people in these parks, and each one of them is a potential kidnapper. Um, so yeah, that was uh, a real bad time for me, even though it was fun and everything. Um, but I have, uh, oh, I recently bought. I started at the very lowest end of the the price range to see what crap you could buy for a couple of quid. Um, and it's like a little tracking device that you put in your kid's bag or in the coat or something. So I picked up one of them. I will do like a review on it. Um, but it's crap. Uh, it's the top and bottom of it. Um, so that was more or less me, me fears um, for me kids. You know, I don't want them to be murdered. I don't want them to be kidnapped. I don't want them to be sick. I don't want them to be sad, obviously. I just, you know, just happy life. That's all I want for them. So the things, like, I do like doing with them. Not like I don't like doing everything with them, you know what I mean? Um, but, like, the best things, like, I feel like I like doing with them or for them. Like, my main one is teaching them. I like to be able to teach my kids just stuff, anything, crap that I'm interested in, do you know what I mean? Things that they want to know about. Um, I mean, in our house, like, we're quite big, like, comic fans and things like that. So I share comics with them. Um, I read comics to them, um, especially my five-year-old who at the minute thinks he's the Green Lantern. I know, I don't know why. Um, 
he, he switches between Green Lantern and Flash, so it's not all bad. Um, and my three-year-old who thinks he's Batman, just Batman because he's hard as nails and he wants to fight everyone. Um, so teaching them's like a big thing with me because all three of my kids have got totally different, they're different ages, they've got different interests. Like my oldest one's 16. Um, he wants to go in the army, he likes to play on Xbox, so that's what we talk about. We talk about the military, we talk about Xbox, and he's just sort of getting into the whole girls thing, so, you know, every woman he passes is a potential, potential girlfriend, a uh, victim, as far as I'm concerned, you know, who wants to kiss a spotty 16-year-old, for God's sake. Um, but I teaching them, so, the oldest one, like I say, gaming and things out, me five-year-old um tends to be superheroes or he's just sort of getting into games at the minute so we talk about that a lot or help him with them and with three-year-old he, he just wants to be left alone so he can watch peppa pig um and he comes to us with, when he wants to know something so until he starts asking questions he's happy enough just to potter on um i like to teach them about camping um, about being outside and things just general outdoorsy and stuff like that because I think every kid should be taught like outdoor skills. I think every child should be taught how to light a fire with sticks, um, how to uh, like purify water and things like that, how to find what like berries you kind of can eat. I think this type of stuff should be taught in schools, but I don't really think it is. It's never come up in any of the like the three children I have, it's never been a thing where they went, oh, I had to go outside today and do this. Um, I know my five-year-old with the nursery has actually had a couple of trips um, at different stages of the year when they've went outside to see what the weather's like and what the trees do and things like that. So I suppose they're getting there in a way. Um, but I think just as a general thing, I think every should, everyone should be able to light a fire. Just should be. It should be taught to them in some way, shape or form. I'm not saying they should be taught to go out and, you know, murder some sort of animal and skin it and gut it and cook it. I'm not, I'm not saying it should be like that extreme, but you should be able to build a shelter, get yourself water, make a fire and get some sort of food. It's that simple. Um, why is this not in school? I don't know, but apparently it isn't. Um, so yeah, I like to teach my kids that type of stuff. Um, just because I'm into it and I hope they'll get into it. Um, another thing is, like, toys and things. I collect toys. I've got a load of crap on the shelves behind us. Um, I've collected toys for years. I just, I don't know why. I'm just sad like that, I suppose. Um, so, my kids are interested in the stuff I have and why I have them. Um, like, the Power Ranger stuff that's behind us. So, I know, like... Now the Power Rangers my kids are watching are about a thousand and something variations into it. Um, but they want to know about the original ones that I used to watch. Just because I've got stuff lying around involved with things like that. Or like the superheroes and things like that. Um, so we play with toys, we build Lego and things like that, you know. Um, everybody should build Lego, it's just a thing. Um, the other thing is, like... Um, me. not so much the older one although he is doing it as a GCSE so I suppose he is I did try to get my kids into photography just because it's something I like doing um, so when we have our day trips out um, I like to off, do, you know, do you want to take a camera with you just so we can snap some pictures while we're there um, so I did you know, introduce them into photography um, and just art in general. Um, I know my oldest son more or less just give up on art because it was like I can't draw, so it's it's not going to happen. Um, but he is in he is doing photography as a GCSE, so I suppose he's into it in some shape or form. Um, my five year old he just wants to he take pictures till his heart's content. He wants to draw. He wants to paint. He's interested in how to do it. So this is what I teach them. Um, and my three-year-old, he's the same. He likes to, he likes to paint, so we paint. Um, other things, I did write down uh, just generally safe, be safe. Um, is something 
you know, you actively try to do as a parent. Um, and I don't just mean like, like I said before, like make sure they don't get kidnapped, make sure you don't lose them. I don't mean that type of safe. I mean, just make sure, you know, like doors are locked and things like this. This is another thing that I, if I went to bed and then the little voice in my head went, are you sure the front door's locked? I couldn't leave it. I would have to go and check, even though I know I've done it. I would have to go and check. And then that would be like, right, I've checked the front door, I've checked the windows, I've checked the back door, I've checked it, you know, and it's it's just a thing. Um, so, keeping them safe in a sense of nobody's going to burgle me house and steal me children, I suppose. I suppose it does cover the kidnapping thing, really. Um, so that's like another thing, but you, you know, like, just general things. Like, me kids like to run down the stairs at the same time as everybody else. So that's like another safety thing with me is you don't play on the stairs. You don't play at the top of the stairs or near the top of the stairs for the simple fact that I will go off it and just because you may fall down the stairs. Um, so there's just tough things like that where it's little safety things where I suppose I'm like OCD about it and I'm like, I just don't want you doing it. It's like I don't want you running around the house with a knife. It's an obvious thing, but... You know, just reinforce the idea. Don't run with scissors. Don't run with a knife. Don't play at the top of the stairs. Um, don't try and waterboard your brother in the bath. Um, just things like that. Don't put the cord round your neck. This is like a thing. Um, I'm trying to think which one it was. It was either the three-year-old or the five-year-old came out of school with like a little medal round his neck because of attendance or something like that. So like, yeah, I've got a neck, I've got this, I've got this. Oh, look, I can wrap it around like this, and I can tie it around like this, and now I can't breathe. So things like that really like buggers, right? When I see them playing and he's just wrapping things around his neck, like it's not, you know, and it's like, really just stop doing it. You could die. I know it's like, it's harsh telling a five-year-old, if you wrap this around your neck, you're going to die. But it's just the way my mind works, so... I, I try to be, I try to give them reasons not to do things. So if I explain them why I don't want them to do it, hopefully you'll just go on with it and, you know, that's, that's it. Um, another thing I put down was talking. I just generally not just talking. I, you know, I spout a load of crap when I'm on here, but um, just generally talking to me kids. One of the best parts of me days, like when I pick them up from school and I ask them what they've been doing um, at school. I mean, most of the time it's, I don't know. I went to school and then I come out and I don't know what happened in the middle and I had dinner. They always remember dinner. So like I, I could ask them, what did you do as soon as you went into school? Um, I didn't know. And then I had dinner and I had sausage and egg and whatever for dinner. So they always remember what they vet. Um, <laughs> which is, a, I don't know, just, it amuses us, it really does. Um, but the little stories they come out with, I mean, my five-year-old's just got his, like, his first girlfriend um, so I like to like wind him up about that, um, you know, like, we've been kissing and things like that, and he gans off it with us and just tells us off in front of the whole school, um, like I need to act my age, um, it's, it's a mystery of which one's bringing which up between me and the five year old actually, you know, because he's in charge more than I am, um, so yeah, like talking, it's, it's one of these things, like especially with the 16 year old at the minute, it's all about his love life, um, and how that's going and you know my five year old it's about school and or whatever else he's been doing and my three year old he tells us about just whatever he wants really um, what he wants to do when he grows up which I'm not even going to get into because it's a bit weird and scary um, so what else did I put laughing me and my five year old cannot look at each other without laughing right we're just that on the same level of stupidity, the two, right? Where I think you need to like laugh with your kids. I know a lot of parents are like quite strict. Um, and it's it's not a bad thing to be strict with your kids. It's just like, I just feel like sometimes you just need to like get down to their level and be stupid, which I'm an expert at being stupid. And shut up. I know you agree. Um, this is why I'm not letting Rex in, you see? He's a pain in the backside. Um, 
so yeah just generally just muck about with your kids and just be stupid with them do you know what i mean um who needs to be serious all the time it makes you old see these grays here yeah, this is because i was serious once this was another time and that was another another time so i've knocked being serious on the head yeah because it's making us go gray so yeah so just laugh with your kids um another thing i put down was just general happiness just make sure your kids are just generally happy do you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes I look at um, like my kids and I think, you know, you look a bit depressed and stuff, you know, but how do I ask like a three-year-old or five-year-old, like, you know, you're depressed, you know, and he'd, he'd, he'd look at us and he'd go, aye, and fill me juice up while you're at it, because he just wouldn't understand what I was talking about. So, um, like I say, just all in all, just be stupid, be silly. Be the boss, but be funny boss, you know, um, just generally make life happy. You shouldn't be miserable until you're older and you've got to start paying bills and things like that. Until you've got proper, like, worries and, I don't know what worries are really, I've stopped caring. Um, I mean, if my wife leaves me, I'm knackered because I have no idea where money goes on any level, you know. I know it goes into my bank, but that's, apart from that, I don't know where it goes. Um, so we, the, 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 uh, the camp and stuff would come in really handy because we'd be living in the woods. So that was like, just my general fears and hopes for me kids. I hope that they're, they're generally happy and I hope they they learn things and just have an easy life really. That's what you want. Um, couple of things I did want to add was I have decided to do a couple of bits um, things that are like coming up um, and the first thing was uh, some reviews I was wanting to do some reviews on um, more just dad type of stuff um, but it probably will spill over into some toys and things like that. So I was looking at some bits and pieces that I want to do some reviews on. Um, just to give some people out there who maybe haven't used a couple of different bits of things before. Um, just like a little bit of a... Yeah, have a try of this. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see what you can do. It won't be to make an explode type of stuff. Um, so I was going to do some reviews. I will do some um, adventure day videos when the weather gets a bit better. Because um, it's a bit cold at the minute and horrible and wet and I'm pretty sure it's going to snow again soon. Um, so as soon as we get our adventure days back on track, then I'll do a couple of videos with that and just see what we just do. Just a waste of day really. Um, just having a, a potter about and a walk about and see what we can see. Um and i am trying trying i'm very trying to have um a nerf like tactical day um with the kids and a couple of other people um so i will do a video on that and how that went and that's gonna have a couple of little bit of um bush crafty type um activities in which we wanted to, to just to teach the kids and um things like that like um like children's first aid like things like that you know how to put a plaster on and how to wash a bleed and things just general nothing too hard you know what i mean um but it is going to be like a little bit of a like a like a kids army day that we're thinking about doing um so that was more or less it really but couple of things coming up so i just wanted to let you know that we're coming um if you've got anything you want reviewed um let us know and i'll try and get my hands on it um if you want anything talked about just let us know if you want any advice on anything um give us a shout let us know and i'll try and knock something up for you um the other thing i did want to say was the other day um my five-year-old come to us and he said dad he says in fact i don't even know if this is a harry potter thing i think it might be um so he come to us and he said dad he says what's your best memory i said my best memory he says i i says well my best memories are like when the kids were born i says and when i married your mom 
that's, that's like my best memories. Um, and I, and I saw me just get over it. Um, and he was like, all right. Uh, and he asked his mom, and it was the same thing, you know. Um, but what I did tell him was that if he had asked us what my scariest memory was, was the day when we were actually in hospital when he was due. Um, so it was like the exact same memory. I just, you know, it's got two different meanings for us. So we're in the hospital, um, and my wife's in the bed, you know, with the bump. Um, and they were going to do a, a C-section um, to get him out. So they come in, they'll have a listen to his, his heart and stuff on tummy and things. And they were like, hmm, he's in distress. We're going to have to get him out straight away. And they just wheeled her out and left me in a room. Um, so, they, I mean, they come back and got us after about five, ten minutes. I don't know how long it was. Um, I remember ringing her mom up and telling her what was going on and my hands being like shaking all over the shop and trying not to cry because um, I didn't know what was going on uh, but then they took us away and um, I was there when she was getting like sectioned um, and you know I come out and he, he was fine and everything's, everything was fine um, but yeah so that memory has like the good thing because he was born and he was fine but like it was one of the worst times of my life when they just wheeled my wife out and sort of went, your baby's in distress, bye. Um, and just left us in this room on my own, not knowing what was going on. And then some wife come in, threw a gown at us later on, and went, yeah, put that on, get your clothes off. Um, I'll come back with you in a bit. So I, that was like, it was, I just wanted to hide that story out there while I remembered. Um, so yeah, <laughs> memories can have two meanings. But yeah, so... Like I say, you've got some things coming up. I just want to hide this video out to you. Yeah. Peace out. Have fun.